by Tom Winter, Ken Delanian, Jonathan Deanst and Monica Alba. President Trump's former personal attorney Michael Cohen, facing jail in just over two months, has been speaking with and providing information to federal prosecutors in New York, according to three people familiar with the matter. According to those sources and public statements, Cohen was questioned about a donor to the president's inaugural committee, Imad Zubarai, who is a political fundraiser with a history of donating to both Republican and Democratic candidates. In addition, the sources said Cohen has discussed matters relevant to the Southern District of New York's investigation into certain members of the Trump Organization and the Trump Inaugural Committee, investigations that have previously been reported publicly. The New York Times first reported the discussions, which sources confirm occurred in January, on Friday evening. A spokesperson for the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York declined to comment. Lanny Davis, an attorney and spokesperson for Cohen, said in a statement to NBC News, We cannot comment on any matters that are still under investigation by the special counsel or the prosecutors in the Southern District of New York. However, Davis added, I can say that Mr. Cohen is interested in cooperating with and assisting the SDNY team in any way they believe is helpful. An inaugural committee spokesperson declined to comment. The White House referred questions to the Trump Organization, which did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Zubarai has previously been mentioned in reports surrounding the investigation into the Trump inaugural committee. His spokesperson has previously told the Washington Post that Zubarai's funds did not come from a foreign donor and that the money he gave was his own. Friday's revelations have to do with a proposed consulting agreement between Cohen and Zubarai, an agreement Zubarai's spokesperson said was never completed. Steve Rabinowitz, a spokesman for Zubarai, said his client received what I would call a speculative contract from Cohen to consult on a new, small private New York real estate fund they had spoken briefly of, but that never came to be. Rabinowitz said his client issued a check to Cohen as part of initiating the agreement and said Zubarai recently searched his records and found a $100,000 handwritten check to Cohen that was issued in February 2017. The check was never cashed and by March of 2017, Cohen and Zubarai would not speak again, he said. Imad Zubarai did not pursue Cohen, it was the other way around, Rabinowitz said. And there would be relationship fell apart when Zubarai didn't sign the contract, not when Cohen didn't cash the check. And how could he? They didn't have a deal. Cohen, who pleaded guilty on charges related to tax evasion and campaign finance fraud, faces three years in prison and is expected to be sentenced May 6. Cohen pleaded guilty in August 2108 to the charges brought by federal prosecutors in New York, six counts related to his personal finances and two related to campaign finance violations involving hush money payments to two women who said they had affairs with Trump. Federal law allows prosecutors to seek a reduction in a jail sentence post-conviction and even post-sentencing for cooperation in an ongoing investigation. A public court filing from prosecutors indicating that Cohen is cooperating or indicating that they seek a reduction in his sentence has not been made, and there's no indication that there's a formal agreement. Cohen is expected to testify before several committees of Congress next week.